Hi guys, this is Shalini and I'm back to you with another video. Living amidst this deadly pandemic, I understand how imperative it has become for us to discuss on how can we deal with the second COVID wave. Also understand strategies how we can prevent such waves in future. So kindly request you to watch the video till the end. Also forward the same content to your families and friends so that it will help them understand how can they deal with the second COVID wave. What is the reason for the second COVID wave and how did this happen? We must understand that most of us are affected with the mutant strain of the SARS-CoV-2 and that has been detected in the second wave. In addition to the Brazilian, South African and the UK strain. One very important thing that all of us must know is that this mutated virus has the potential to skip your immunity and it can skip even the vaccinations. So that's the reason for the reinfection cases and the cases among the vaccinated people. And let me warn you, everybody in the bridge population that is between 18 to 45 years who think that they are fit and fine and they have all the immunity you must understand that this age group has become the super spreader. Bypassing the RT-PCR, that means the RT-PCR might show false negative reports and still these people might become carriers of the disease. And the only reason I can tell you for this is public carelessness and lack of adherence to COVID appropriate behavior, which is wearing mask, sanitizing yourself, maintaining social distance and one very important thing is getting vaccinated if you are eligible to do so. The Corona symptoms. Symptoms in 2019 and 2020 were mostly dry cough, fever, weakness, breathing problems and loss of smell. But the current symptoms that we see in most of the cases is sometimes is just a symptom, only headache, only loose tools, body ache, weakness, uneasy feeling, vomiting, hearing problems, conjunctivitis and sometimes these symptoms are in combinations and needless to say most of them will present to us with fever, dry cough, weakness as well. Now facts to understand about the second wave. This virus is infecting the children and we must educate them about COVID appropriate behavior. We must learn to live with this virus because we cannot think of eliminating the virus in an immediate future. It is a respiratory droplet infection. We need not panic but follow COVID appropriate behavior which is masking yourself, using sanitizers, maintaining social distances and getting yourselves vaccinated. More about COVID-19. Loss of smell is a very strong indicator, I must tell you, as strong as a positive RT-PCR test. And the other symptoms are fever more than 101 degree Fahrenheit, CRP more than 10 mg per L with rapid rise and fall of SpO2 by 5% on a 6 minute walk test. I'll tell you what a 6 minute walk test in the slides to come. And remember, cough on day 3, day 5 is critical. And you must understand that the virus becomes non-replicating after day 9. That means by day 9, your disease starts resolving. Risk. Contact time more than 15 minutes with a person who is tested positive for COVID-19. And if your RT-PCR is negative and the symptoms persist, you must go for a CT scan. That is a chest CT scan or a chest x-ray. What is 6-minute walk test? 6 minute walk, walk test is very useful between day 3 and day 6. If your SpO2 level falls by 5% on walking, then this is indicative of pneumonia and must be treated on an urgent basis. Strategies for lifesavers. Change your careless attitude and mindset thinking that COVID-19 is not going to infect us anymore. 100% adherence to COVID appropriate behavior and zero tolerance to no mask, zero tolerance to no social distancing, zero tolerance to no sanitization. So this has to become a part of our life. To add on, testing, tracing, isolating and vaccinating, ensuring that you include the age group between 18 to 45, which has become the super spreader now. Completing 
both the doses of vaccination because at least 70 percentage of vaccination and herd immunity can prevent any more waves of COVID-19. People with comorbidities like diabetes, hypertension, bronchial asthma must take extra care and precaution. Yoga must be included in daily routine and you must make sure that you avoid any kind of over exercise or physical exertion. All that your body needs is adequate hydration and adequate rest. Avoid junk foods and include nutritious food into your daily diet. Include dietary supplements like multivitamin tablets, especially vitamin C and zinc. The second wave is expected to last up to 100 days, which means 3 months. Why vaccination is necessary? Once vaccinated, infection in most cases is asymptomatic, mild or moderate with low virus load and with a very low potential for transmission. Therefore, it is very imperative to decrease this fatality and getting vaccinated at the earliest. Thank you. I hope that today's video was useful. I encourage each one of you to share this video with your friends and family so that they also understand how important it is to deal with the second wave of COVID-19 and also prevent such further waves by adopting COVID-appropriate behavior. Thank you. Have a good day.